All right, so if we were just doing a two wire like we did over here, we'd pretty much be done. But since we've got the third wire here, the, the ground wire, we gotta take that into account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist the wire like that. Get the wire nut on there. It'd be too big. I have to go see if I have a smaller one. Be right back. All right, I found a smaller one. Nice little orange one. You can see it's a little smaller in there. I was prepared. Another one. Electrical tape, also called friction tape. They call it friction tape because it sticks better to itself when it's pulled tight. So what we're gonna do, let me get, I'm gonna start pulling it tight. Get one wrap around there and then just start pulling it as tight as you can around that wire, the wire nut. We're using this in the house. This is gonna be behind my couch So I'm not too worried about um, water or moisture getting on you here. Um, you can, another way to do this would be to get a, a plastic container of some sort. Maybe like a Ziploc container or something. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down. I'm going to try and keep that button exposed in case I need to manually turn the lights on and off. Now I just realized I forgot to mention is that I got two of these sawn offs for a total of about 15 bucks total so that's you know, a little over seven dollars a piece and if you, you can buy them in packs of six and eight and more and then they, they get even cheaper per sawn off if you had a uh, like a, a ziplock plastic box you know like a take-home container or a you know like fake Tupperware you can put this in there, drill some holes for the wire, and you can put it in there like that uh, for indoor use. If you're going outdoor use, definitely want to use something rated for outdoors. But for indoors, this works, but a plastic box would be perfect. So now, I'm going to set this up here at the desk and not out at the, at the couch. I'm going to set this up here at the desk, and then I'll move it out there. So the first thing we're going to do, take the plug, and we're going to plug it in. You can see we've got a green light flashing. And it's right over the sign of the, the Wi-Fi symbol here. So we are about ready to pair. So here I am in my eWe link. You're going to have to download this app and install it. So what we're going to do, we can go in and we look for this. So let's power up the model and press and hold the pairing button for five seconds until the LED indicator blinks twice and on repeatedly. So you can see it's not quite doing it. So I gotta hold the, the button here for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can see it's just flashing. So then we click next. Now I have to enter a password, so you can't see this part. So what happens is this says 5G Wi-Fi is not supported. So I gotta go to my Wi-Fi and I gotta go to the non-5G. 
And then I can go back to my e-link and it's got my um, password already there from before, so I don't want anyone seeing that because, like I said, I don't want everyone to steal my Wi-Fi. Sorry about that, but the SD card filled up and I had to switch and put in a new one. And then I tried recording and I forgot to turn on the microphone. So now we're back to doing this again. The uh, sawn-offs are inexpensive. Um, and there is a trade-off for that inexpense. And that is, is that you can't just add something to it. You need to unlink the account. You can't just add a device to the to Google Home through the Smart We Link. You got to unlink the account, then relink the account, and then it'll bring in everything that you've already set up. So you go to Smart We Link. It's going to ask me to log into my E Link account. I will do that, and I will press log in, and then I will bring it back here. Alright, so I click the login and it immediately brings me back to Google Home. I renamed in the uh, e we link in the Smart Link app, I renamed the interrogation light to Office Light. I did go back and do that. So now you can go here, go to done, and we got it. And now you can see that we've got two new devices under the smart we link and we're going to assign rooms now do a little that and then that one was what the couch lights so that's in the family room and the office light is in the office and we're done for some reason that didn't save oh there we go we got it. It's all good. And now we are done. So what we can do now is remember that the interrogation light is connected to the couch light, the couch sauna. So Google just knows that it's couch lights. So you can go, hey Google, turn on the couch lights. You got it, turning on the couch lights. Turn off the couch lights. You got it, turning off the couch lights. Now we gotta do is go put this behind the couch and plug the lights into this outlet, and we are set to go. Turn on the couch lights. Sure, turning the couch lights on. I think that worked pretty well. Billy rubs, Billy rubs.